Hello, hello everyone and welcome. I'm Velvet B and thanks for joining me for today's video. So what are we doing today? Great question. One of the things that I love to delve into whenever we get a new pack is debug. Debug and live edit. We're going to take a look at some of the debug live edit items that came with the Love Struck pack today that I think are going to be really cool for building with. If you want to access the live edit and debug, debug menus you can do it a couple of ways so the way that i do it is with the better build by mod by twisted mexi this actually makes it really super easy and accessible and organized so if you don't have that mod i highly recommend it as a building mod uh, but i know not everybody gets to use mods or wants to use mods so like console players can't use mods sadly but you can still access all of this stuff there is a couple of cheats that you need to activate to be able to access all of this stuff so the first one is bb.showhiddenobjects and the next one is bb.showliveeditobjects. I'll direct you to my cheats video if you um, aren't familiar with cheats and how to activate them so that you can get into it. So let's have a look at these items. It's pretty exciting. First up, there was like some really cool murals in there. Like I can imagine these are going to be absolutely fantastic for building, for like modern builds, bright builds. I have shrunk them down a little bit. They do come a little larger. So this is the size that they do come. So I have shrunk them down by two just to get them uh, <laughs> on the wall, basically. So there's like four that are the same size. And then there's this um, other liony one, which is actually a slightly different size. And the other item here is this little divider. So it's a street, street deco divider. Once again, I have shrunk that down because it's quite a large one. So you could use that on like the side of buildings and stuff like that. Really cool room divider as well. There isn't anything on the back, so just be aware of that. It's probably better against a wall or somewhere or like a corner where you're not going to see the back of it. There is like a little statue type thing, like a little broken, but this like really neat little thing that you could go in the garden. It's got like your butterflies and geckos on there. So that's called the Street Deco Park Statue and the murals are called the uh, street deco mural creation and one two four and three art divider and then we've got the street deco mural mural o2 next we have a bike stand which doesn't sound all that exciting but it's actually really cool to have like a little bike stand that you can set up like if you've got a community lot or something like that and you can pop your pop your bikes in there into our menu and we want to add our bike I mean, look at that. We've got our bike sort of all parked up there underneath our bike rack. So I think that's pretty neat for community builds and everything like that. So I'm, I'm liking that. Now, next up we have a taxi, which I thought was cool. And it's going to be neat for like community lots and bits and pieces like that for building, which I think is really cool. There's also this cute statue. It's like a little couple kissing with love heart. I thought that was like a sweet little statue. So that could be cool for community lots again and for gardens and this is the street deco lovers statue so this is a zero value item one thing i'm just going to go into live mode for this but this fountain actually works it's absolutely free and is a working fountain so i thought that was amazing because not all of the fountains are working fountains in debug i thought that was very cool it's a pretty little fountain perfect for gardens and that sort of thing so if you are looking to add a free decoration to your garden then this is absolutely perfect and you could shrink that down i guess as well but just be aware that uh your water <laughs> is not going to go down with it then there's a couple of trellises and these aren't or it's sort of like a little pergola shelter shade thing and then like a little trellis archway neither of those are particularly new to the game but it's always nice to have like a different option as well so those are always nice to have some free free decorations for the garden another thing that i really liked was this was this little stone border that we got so this is the street deco hostile seating so it's supposed to be seating it doesn't act as seating in the in the game so i would use that as a debug item as like a border for gardens and as you can see here i have shrunk it down so it normally sits like a little bit larger than that, but I've shrunk it down by two. And there is another sunshade available as well. Again, something similar to what we've had in other packs, but really cool colors in that. And we got a whole heap of plants. So the plants didn't come in, in uh, normal mode. We've pretty much only got a tree in that. So instead we have a whole lot in debug. 
most of them are pretty familiar but there's some pretty cool little plants in here so for the deserty areas this is all pretty standard for what we've had before uh, maybe some little tiny differences but nothing too too exciting as far as that goes but they, you know it's always nice to have new plants I actually really love this palm it's a really neat palm like in the sense that it is quite well proportioned it doesn't like sit on any weird angles or anything like that and it's got a nice fluffy top on it so I really like this palm and the trees are actually overall really nice on this so this is the purple jacaranda yeah jacaranda tree so there's two different options for that this is the canary island date palm by the way the others are just sort of like your cactuses and there's a couple of shrubs in the background but as I said we've had pretty similar plants throughout different packs with that but I really like the jacaranda trees so they're an alternative to the, to the one that we have just in the build by menu there is a plumeria tree which I think is super cute and then we have plain green tree which is the ash and then this is like this cute little tree here I can find that like I would find that super useful around the place because sometimes you just want a smaller tree and that's your thunderclap tree there is some free wall ivy as well which is handy because yeah sometimes if you're doing like a, a starter build and a cottage build and that sort of thing and you want to do like your ivy up there that's going to be absolutely perfect uh so this is new this is a romantic bush so you got your like your love uh sorry you're not your love heart your butterfly in there which i think is really cute can't change the color of it but it's nice and there is a little window planter as well in debug which is great it's got like some really nice dangly bits which i think is great it's a um, box flower no other color in that and then we've had something similar like in this one here and we've got like a similar but different shaped version of this one here so this is the central square fountain foliage uh, which you can see up here as well but this done separate now we've got central square uh, central square fountain foliage 2 which are those items there a couple of different items like this is a different shape to what we've had before and this is new same sort of thing as what we've had before with these quite like the bright red on this so that's the shrub uh, set two. Then we have the poinsettia, which I think is a sweet little plant. Then this is a cacti. Actually, I'll move that over there with the other cacti. So we've had, I guess I said, something similar to that. And then this is my very favorite. And this is the agapanthus. I love this. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are some really nice plants uh, that you can use with the Love Struck Pack and Debug. Um, I love that this is like pouring water. That's fantastic. I love like a little bit of extra art. The taxi is going to be cool uh, for different... For different lots and like the stone the stone what's well, a, a seed but i'm going to use it as a border <laughs> for gardens and that sort of thing i think that's going to be excellent so some really neat things in the debug menu from lovestruck there aren't too many like different debug items there's a little bit of jewelry a little bit of food there's a local information board which might be of use to people and there's also the axolotl habitat and all the axolotls that you can get in the game as well as the romance volume live edit there's like some buildings uh fences uh, some non-functional decorative items basically those are sort of my favorites i also like the little water towers you can get those in the game so i didn't get too excited about that but you can get a debug version of those as well so thanks for joining me today i hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tour of the love struck pack and get into debug have a little bit of fun with it and get to know a whole new world of build buy items because it's a lot of fun digging into that <laughs> thanks so much for watching and you guys have a good day Bye bye